Factory by PragerU Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making a classic Native American corn husk doll to learn a bit about life on the prairie in the 1800s when many Americans became pioneers and headed west for adventure and opportunity. Here's what you'll need for today's craft. 10 corn husks, Soak them in warm water for about 15 minutes to make them bendy. You can find these at grocery stores or online. String of almost any kind. I'm using yarn here. I got it from a craft store. A large towel, scissors, and that's it. Oh, we've got a question. I've seen corn husk dolls before, but why don't any of them have a face? I was hoping someone would ask that. Okay. Corn husk dolls were created by the Iroquois people, Native Americans from the eastern part of the United States. They have a legend about their corn husk doll explaining that she doesn't have a face because she started admiring her own beauty too much. It's a great story with a wise lesson for all of us to remember. We actually have an Otto's Tale story time episode about it if you want to hear it for yourself. Let's get to making our doll, and I'll tell you more about Native Americans and American settlers. This is so fun, you're gonna love it. What you're gonna do first is spread out your towel, because this might get messy. Get your corn husks out of the water and lay them out on the towel, because we don't wanna get our furniture soaking wet. I soak these in here for about 15 minutes in warm water, because now, I can bend them when I'm making my doll. And if they rip, it's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you get these a little bit dry, stack them on top of each other to make a little triangle like this. And it's okay if they're not perfectly even. There we go. Just like that. Now, tie these very tightly with a piece of string, just about two inches from the top. These are so fun to make with friends, and they're really easy. You're not gonna believe it. There you go. Looks like a little broom for cleanup. Now, what you're going to do is turn these upside down to sort of peel it like a banana. There we go. And try and do all the husks separately if you can. Now we're gonna take another piece of string, tie it around right here, and that's gonna be the head. Do you see it? <laughs> this is going to become this in no time. You know, Native Americans taught early Americans how to do a lot of things, like grow corn. The pilgrims would not have survived in America if it weren't for Native Americans teaching them their ways for planting and harvesting crops and using all parts of nature to help them live. The natives used the husks of the corn to make mats, baskets, and dolls. Many years later, American settlers started doing this too when they started moving west across the United States. Corn husk dolls became popular toys for pioneer children during the 1800s. Okay, now let's make our dolls arms. You're gonna take two more husks out of the water and place them on the mat. Get them a little dry. There we go. Lay them sideways and place them on top of each other with the narrow ends at opposites. Now, roll these up together very tightly. There we go. Now we're gonna tie it in the middle. Very tight again. We don't want these coming undone. It's a little trim and tie it on each side. Last one. There we go. So why did Americans start moving west in the 1800s? Well, Americans have always looked to the west for freedom and opportunity, and lots of exciting things happened during that time that made America bigger. The Louisiana Purchase during President Thomas Jefferson's time in 1803, the Mexican-American War, and the Gadsden Purchase in 1853. I'll let you learn more about those later. 
America became much bigger with lots of land for settlers to move to, and many pioneers traveled by covered wagons, usually made of hard wood. Wagons also usually had food, water, tar, and extra wheels. And I'm gonna guess maybe corn husk dolls too. <laughs> Let's finish our corn husk doll now. Take your corn husk arms and what you're gonna do is fit it under the doll. You're gonna lift up these hanging husks so that you get about halfway and you're gonna put the arms as close to the head as possible. Fold over the husks and then you're gonna tie the body of the doll to keep the arms in place. You might need helping hands for this one. Let's see if I can do it. Can I do it? Can I do it? <laughs> We're gonna try. Ah! Do her arms look a little long? I think they do. If you need to trim to make the arms shorter, you can do it now. One, two, three. It worked. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Much better. Let's give this a little trim on the strings. Let's make her gown a little fluffier. <laughs> Life was tough for pioneers heading west and could be very dangerous too. The Native Americans and pioneers didn't always get along, but they also learned to trade customs and skills to survive. And the corn husk doll is one of those customs, a Native American tradition with a wise lesson from the Iroquois people. Corn husk dolls traveled west with settlers and their families all the way to California. Now, you're gonna wanna let the corn husk doll that we just made dry for one to two days because then she's going to turn out like this, nice and dry. <gasps> Isn't she beautiful? We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series and subscribe at PragerUKids.com.